So the day has finally come where I've got everything plugged in. I've got the razor cut, cut 45 all set up. And we're gonna do our test cut and see how it goes. I've had a play around already, so I kind of know the outcome. But I wanna show you guys because this thing is just blowing me away. Bear in mind, the closest comparison to this on the market is somewhere in the ballpark of like four grand, five grand. And this kind of can be infinitely big. You just need longer belts and you can make it a full plate if you wanted to. And it's cost me under a thousand bucks. So bear that in mind when you watch what this thing does. It's insane. And thank you to everybody that uh, jumped on board. Sutton Tools, Trade Flame, XLR. Couldn't have done it without you guys. And um, love the gear. I've probably already sent you to where you need to get it if you want to get some of this stuff. And this is the sort of stuff you can build if you use their tools. But besides that, the whole point of this channel is to try and get one of you guys out there to go and do this yourselves. Go and build something yourselves. Get out of your head and into the shit. It's good for you. And um, like if I can make one person be creative and get out of their head, I've done my job. So check this out, team. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. I'm probably going to do another series on how I do it with using Open Builds and Fusion 360. But um, here's the Marshall Makes logo. It's a 150 mil circle with two M's. So all I'm going to do is now I've got this run. I can see my X and my Y axis. It's looking good. I'm going to click Run Job. Let's see how we go. There it is. You can see that very well. It is just so smooth. You would never be able to replicate this by hand. And the slag was almost non-existent. And that sort of stuff, that's over time you're gonna get the amp perfect, the air perfect, and your speed. But um, for our first or second run, I am super impressed with that. And like I said, under a thousand bucks, man. Just, you can start a business with these things. So I definitely recommend this build to anybody who wants to have a crack. It's super fun. It's not actually that technical. And when you be able to pull things out of your thing like this, like, what? So this is going to come super in handy when we're making our uh, world's fastest chili bin because we're going to make some strengthening gussets and stuff like that. Um, and this is going to be awesome. So next time you see this, it's going to be in, the, uh, in my other garage working on the world's fastest chili bin. So watch this space. Watch your cuts. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.